So in R2, we knew there was a formula for distance between two points of space. And in R3, there also will be one. So if you have point one and point two in R3, the distance is going to generalize quite easily to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared plus z2 minus z1 squared. How this formula is created is actually just applying the Pythagorean theorem multiple times. And we could show this if we'd like, but why don't you try as an exercise to be able to figure out why this should be the distance formula in R3. Now, as a note, the book calls D of P1, P2, it also has an absolute value of P1, P2. I think this makes more sense, so bear with us with our notation. And let's consider a specific point, HKL, and let's fix it. And let's plug it into the distance formula and say, let's have it at a very specific distance called R. So let's say we have R and it's going to be equal to the square root of X minus H squared plus Y minus L squared plus Z minus K squared. You have this formula here, and you say, what happens if I want it always to be at a specific distance? So I square both sides. I get r squared equals x minus h squared plus y minus l squared plus z minus k squared. Does that look familiar to you? Hopefully it should, because that would be the equation for a sphere, right? Centered at H, L, and K, which I realize I flipped my L's and K's, but let's consider the point now H, L, K. Suppose we are asked to describe a region where we had X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared was less than or equal to four. And then we also knew x squared plus y squared was greater than or equal to 1. What could we say about this region that we've talked about here? Well, x squared plus y squared plus 4, z squared being less than or equal to 4, we just saw that the equation of this is of a sphere. So everything smaller will be included in that sphere. So it's actually a ball, like a solid ball of radius 2, correct? Now, x squared plus y squared, that is going to be equal to a circle in the xy plane, right? And so if we just thought of x squared plus y squared, z could be anything. So it should look like a cylinder moving up and down because we have a circle right? And we can move up and down the z-axis. So the region would be, we'd have this ball, right, of radius 4, and we have to drill out a cylinder in it of radius 1. Since it's x squared plus y squared greater than or equal to 1, we want everything outside of the cylinder that we think of of radius 1 rather than anything inside. So that's why we're drilling it out, is because we've got the sphere, we want everything less than that, and then we also want everything greater than the cylinder. And so what remains is the sphere with a drilled out cylinder along the z-axis.